This is a securities fraud case because Elon Musk in 2018 sent out two tweets saying that he was going to take Tesla private and that the funding had been secured. And based on that, the stock shot up, but ultimately tanked, costing investors, especially short sellers, millions of dollars. So the jury has really three questions to answer here. Did Musk intend to defraud investors when he made the false tweets? Did those false and misleading tweets materially affect Tesla's stock price? Did they affect the market? And if so, what are the damages to the class of investors that lost money? Plaintiffs are arguing that Musk knew the tweets were false and misleading when they were made. And Musk lawyers are saying, no, this was just his intent to take the company private. And that was always his intent and what he would have done had shareholders allowed it. It had nothing to do with the funding. The lesson certainly for every CEO that's watching is be careful what you post on social media. Make sure it's 100% accurate and vetted by your legal team, because if not, you could be sued or you could be fined or even worse. 